Ovo Weston Fuller was born on February 11, 1833, in Augusta, Maine. He was the son of Frederick A. Fuller and Catherine Weston. He graduated from Bowdoin College in 1853. After college, Fuller pursued a legal career where he trained in law in Bangor, Maine, and studied at Harvard Law School. In 1855, Fuller set up his own practice in Augusta, Maine. The following year, he went to Chicago where he focused most of his legal work on issues relating to real estate. In 1860, he served as Stephen Douglas's campaign manager in his presidential run against Abraham Lincoln. He was elected as a Democrat to the Illinois Constitutional Convention of 1861 and to the State House of Representatives in 1862. President Grover Cleveland appointed him Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in 1888. His two most notable cases that came before the Fuller Courts were Plessy v. Ferguson in 1896 and Lochner v. New York in 1905. Fuller was also known for ruling against a federal income tax in Pollock v. Farm Loans and Trust Company in 1895. Fuller was married to Callisto Reynolds from 1858 to 1864. Two years later, he married Mary Ellen Colbor. The couple stayed together until Mary Ellen's death in 1904. Fuller had several children from each of his marriages. He was known as a great mediator and led the case discussion in conferences Fuller to find a route to compromise. started the tradition that each justice greet and shake hands with every other justice each morning. This tradition is still followed today. He was the first chief justice appointed who had never held a federal office before. He remained chief justice until his death on July 4, 1910 in Sorrento, Maine. Fun Facts he was a man of short stature, only being five foot three, where they had to put a chair behind the bench so he could be leveled with everyone else. He was also said to look a lot like Mark Twain. Gonzalez versus Oregon. This was a Supreme Court debate whether physician assisted suicide, also known as Death with Dignity Act, violates the Controlled Substance Act of 1970. When and Where The Gonzalez v. Oregon case was taken to Supreme Court on February 22, 2005 in the state of Oregon. Death with Dignity Act Passed by Oregon in 1994, Oregon was the first state to pass the Death with Dignity Act, this allowed physician-assisted suicide to become legal for patients who fall under the following requirements. Have not received a diagnosis by their current physician saying they have an incurable and irreversible disease that will cause death within six months. Made a voluntary request. Have gone to counseling if they are suffering from mental illness or depression to ensure that nothing impairs their judgment on this decision. And have gotten a consult from the second physician confirming the decision of the first once all this is done, the physician is allowed to issue a prescription for the drug, but may not administer it. The Death with Dignity Act was trying to be repealed, but it got defeated by voters. Who was involved? John Ashcroft. He pointed out that physician-assisted suicides were a violation of the Controlled Substance Act. He started the case by issuing a directive that states a physician could lose his or her license if they are found prescribing assisted suicide medication to patients. The Controlled Substance Act of 1970 It was enacted on October 22, 1970 by President Richard Nixon. It regulates possession, manufacturing, distribution, and importation of drugs. They're classified into five schedules, number one being the most harmful with no medical benefits, to number five being the drugs we use to treat the common cold. Who was involved? Federal District Court and Ninth District Court. They gave cases a full hearing and declared that Ashcroft did not have the right to override the Death with Dignity Act. It's taken to Supreme Court. 
John Ashcroft filed for a petition with the U.S. Supreme Court and then announced his retirement from the Department of Justice. His successor, Alberto Gonzalez, took over the case, therefore it being called Gonzalez v. Oregon. Final Decision Supreme Court reached a final decision on January 17, 2016, in a 6-3 to opinion vote. Justice Anthony Kennedy wrote the decision made by Supreme Court stating that physician-assisted suicide was in fact not a violation to the Controlled Substance Act despite the refusal from Justice John Roberts.